for my birthday. Thank you for those that helped make the video. And my grandbabies on top of that, you know, they got, they are the CEOs of my heart. And uh, I, I'm grateful for family. Aren't you thankful for family? Family matters. I said family matters. Amen. You may be seated for just a moment in the presence of the Lord. I'm grateful you are here for all of our first time visitors on behalf of myself, my husband, Bishop Jakes, First Lady Sarita Jakes. We welcome you to the Potter's House North. We want you to be at home and we want you to pull your chair up to the table of the Lord today and feast because God has something amazing in store for you. Are you glad to be here? Y'all better really have church. Y'all slept in. Y'all got to sleep in today. Okay, the rest of us had to come early, but y'all slip in. You better really have your praise on today, okay? No, we're grateful that you are here, and I, I am so thankful for God and his plan for our lives. The Bible says that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And I believe that God has some very important steps in your near future. There are some things that God is going to open up for, for you. There are some connections he's going to make. There are, some, uh, there are some blessings that he's going to bestow upon you. And uh, I believe that when you're faithful over a few things, that God makes you ruler over many. That's my testimony. That's my story. Some of you know my story. I was a 16-year-old high school dropout. I walked away from school, I never went back, and God began to teach me and help me in areas that, that I didn't get it, I didn't get it from the school, but I did get it from the school of hard knocks. Anybody ever been to the school of hard knocks? Mm. Now, I, I was there, the Lord taught me so many things, and he taught, one of the things that he taught me was about the law of reciprocity, and that, that was one of the greatest lessons that I learned, because I learned that if I was in a situation that, that, that I had, if I had made decisions, poor decisions, anybody ever made poor decisions? I've made a few in my life, and, and dropping out of school was one of those poor decisions, and yet God is faithful, that even when we are unfaithful, he doesn't deny his own. Hallelujah. Somebody taught me about the law of reciprocity. And when that thing came alive in me, I'm telling you, it radically changed my life. When somebody told me that if I would be faithful to give to God what belonged to God, that he would open up the windows of heaven and pour me out a blessing. When I, and you know what? I was crazy enough to believe it. Hello, I said I was crazy enough to believe it. And that's all God is asking today. I want you to believe me. If I tell you I'm going to bless you, I just want you to believe it. If I tell you I'm going to open up the windows of heaven, I want you to believe it. Are there any believers in here today? I believe God. Oh, I dare you to hit somebody on both sides and tell them I believe God. Y'all better get your expectation level high, high, high. It's a danger to have low expectation. Just think of all the stuff you will miss out if you don't have a high expectation. I, I, I fully expect God to bless me. When I wake up every morning, I expect him to bless me. I turn, when I turn to the right, I expect him to bless me. When I turn to the left, I expect him to bless me. You know why? Because he's called me to finance the kingdom. I am a kingdom financier. And because he's called me to do that, I realize he has got to bless me. And I'm telling you, I will stand before you today and tell you he has never failed. He is a keeping God and he'll keep you. He'll provide for you. He'll be food on your table. And he'll be more than enough. That means he'll put food on your table and enable you to put food on somebody else's table. Y'all can't hear me today. At the end of the day, it's better to be a blessing than it is to need a blessing. I said it's better to be a blessing. How many of you are ready for God to shift you to the place that you can be a blessing? Woo. Come in and coming into the house of God saying, God, whose mortgage do you want me to pay? Whose car payment can I make this month? Hallelujah. You better see it because that's the kind of people that God is going to bless. Look at your neighbor. Tell him wealth is getting ready to run through my hands. When you're faithful, faithful, faithful. And you don't learn faithful overnight. You got to walk with God a while before you learn faithful. Woo! 
but if you'll ever get it, if you'll ever get it, I promise you, it'll be a lesson that will have changed your entire life. God is faithful like that. He is faithful. I feel the faithfulness of the Lord in this room. Hallelujah. I expect God. I'm expecting him this day to bless my life. This cannot be an ordinary day. If the Lord lets you live to see this day, it's a sign that he's not finished with you yet. You ought to tell every devil in hell, I refuse to be depressed in this day. Somebody looked, wanted to live today. And they're not here. But I am here. I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. I feel I got fire shut up in my bones this morning. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's contagious, too. I said it's contagious. Real joy is contagious. Hallelujah. Generosity is contagious. When you get around generous people, it'll cause you to be generous as well. So today I want to just get, want to encourage you to get your tithe and your offering together. Your tithe is what belongs to the Lord. It is His. It's always been His. And if you will, if you will do it long enough, He will teach you how to live without it. I said He'll teach you how to live without it. He has taught me how to live without it. And because of that, I've been blessed. Doesn't mean it don't take faith. Listen, when my tithing check got big as my car payment, I had to really go through some things in my mind. But you know what? I began to realize the more I bless God, the more he blesses me back. And if you ever wonder, does tithing work? Please don't forget this blue eyed, blonde hair lady up here. Tithing works. It's changed my life. Sowing seed works. It breaks financial ceilings. I don't know who has a financial glass ceiling over your life today. But I want you to see your seed and your tithe breaking that financial ceiling. The devil is a liar. You said you, you will all, you'll only make so much. This is all anybody in your family has ever made. Well, it's time to break that ceiling. Because there's generations that are coming after you. You need to break it for them. Hallelujah. I said there's generations coming after you. And you need to break it on their behalf. Amen. Once you get your seed and your offering, if you need an envelope, they have them in the aisle. They'll be happy to put it in your hand. But once you get it, will you just jump up all over the building? If you're watching online, I want to encourage you to sow a seed today and bless the house. Bless the Lord. If you are one of our members and you're at home, obey God and give, give your tithe to the Lord. Give your tithe to the Lord today. We're doing amazing things here in North Dallas. I'm so glad to be a part of it. I'm glad you're a part of it as well. If you have a seat, just get up on your feet as well today. If you don't have anything but a praise, you can.